Hello guys and welcome to Bradio Software Development. My name is Brad and today we're going to be talking about how to raid your SSDs effectively to get the most optimal speed out of them. Now this doesn't just apply to cheer farming, this applies to any Ubuntu system. Um, it's, it's a very very handy uh, skill to have to be able to raid hard drives in, in, in Ubuntu especially considering most of the servers in the world of Linux but in this specific example it is specifically for Chia as I've just got two new hard drives and I want to raid them together to get the maximum amount of speed out of them. So without further ado let's get straight into the video. Okay, so once you log into your Ubuntu system, just bear in mind that you don't actually need to have a GUI installed. You can just use the command, uh, the command line if you're SSHing into it. You don't actually have to have a GUI, but I just like to have a GUI because it does make a few things a bit easier. So uh, the first thing you need to do is open up a terminal. And the first thing we're going to type in is DF. Now what this will do is it will get you all of your drives that are currently either mounted or not mounted yet. So if we have a look at these drives here, we've got MNT X01, uh, sorry, 16 X01, 16 X02, X03, X04. Now those are my external hard drives that I've already got mounted and formatted. And then we've also got the Western Digital 1 and the 14 Western Digital 2 as well. So if you uh, also notice as well, at the top up here, we have this, um, dev nvme 0 n one p 2 So I have an M2 hard drive as my operating system, which is about 500 gig, and that just runs you know, the day-to-day the -day, uh, Ubuntu install and all the little files that I need. Uh, and that's mounted on forward slash, so that is the root drive. And then I have all these other ones as extra drives. So before I get started, I just wanted to explain the benefit of raiding drives, especially with Chia. So um, my current configuration is I have four one terabyte drives, uh, two of them are raided together, so that makes a total of two terabytes, so it's on RAID 0. But because they're linked together, the space will be distributed along both of them. So say one of the drives is 500 megabytes per second, it actually makes a total read and write speed 1000 megabytes per second. So raiding your hard drive in RAID 0 is actually a very, very optimal way to make sure that you get the maximum read and write speeds out of your hard drives. So the next thing we're going to talk about is M-DAD-M. So M-DAD-M is essentially a way of creating a software RAID array on your Ubuntu machine for any of your hard drives that you have on, on your machine. So if I open up a new terminal, you will have to type in uh, sudo apt-get install M-DAD-M. Now I already have it installed, so it's not going to do anything, but for you it will install it. If it comes out of a confirmation message, just press Y on the keyboard and install it. So remember previously I said that you can view your hard drives here. Now if you notice we can't see any of our one terabyte drives. That's because they're not mounted, they're not formatted, they're not raided or anything. They're just sitting in the system somewhere but they're not listed on DF because they're not mounted. Uh, a good way of uh, finding them is to actually use this command here which is lsblk. Now you can type that in your command prompt and it will list your unmounted drives. If we look at this terminal command here, because I don't really like using the GUI, we can see here that one of our one terabyte drives is on SD SDA, another one is on SDB, SDC and SDD. So that's going to be very helpful when we type in these mdadm commands. So if we look at our mdadm create command, we've got create and we're outputting a verbose output so we can see exactly what's going on uh, as it's reading. And we're going to define it as MDO. Now MDO is essentially like a virtual um, a virtual device um, that you're you're using to point at the RAID, the software RAID. So it doesn't actually create a hardware RAID like normally on like servers and NASs you have like a backplane. Um, but with this, it's just a software. Uh, we want to set this to level zero, and then we want to type in SDA, and we want to type in SDB, and we'll use C and D as our second arrays. So go ahead and press Enter. Oh, it must be sudo. Sorry, oh yeah, I forgot because. Uh, I'm sudo in the other terminal, but not this one. That's okay. So sudo su to make sure that you're in a state of sudo all the time. And then we're gonna type in that command again. You might have to just copy and paste it because we're now in, uh, technically under a different user. It doesn't recognize the previous command uh, by pressing up and down on the arrow keys. So um, yeah, so we wanna type in m.m, create verbose dev md0, level zero, dev sda, dev stb, and press enter. 
Now I have noticed that this command doesn't have all of the parameters that we need. We also have to specify the amount of RAID devices. So I know that we have both two listed there, but you also have to define it explicitly. So if you type in after level zero, dash dash uh, RAID dash devices, and then do equals to two, and that will specify that we need to create two arrays. So that's the first one started. Now that does it in the background. It might take uh, you know about five, 10 minutes to run, um, but we can come back and check it in a second. So while we're waiting for that, we'll do our second one. So we'll press up on the keyboard to get the previous command. And we're gonna change this first bit to MD1. And we're going to change the SD locations to STC and STD. And then we're gonna press enter. So that should be firing away in the background. Okay, so I've just typed in DF and we can see that it's not actually here yet. And the reason for that is because it's not formatted. So um, the next thing we need to do is format this, these, these two arrays. So the next command we need to type in is MKFSXT3 and then the name of the, um, the RAID. So let's go back to the terminal. Uh, we're gonna paste the command in MK, MKFSXT3 and then we're gonna change it to MD0. And now that will be formatting away. And then we'll come back in a second when that's fully formatted. Okay, so that's RAID number one, fully formatted. And if we go over to our command line again and type in the same for MD1, so this is our second array. And we're gonna come back in a few seconds and wait for this one as well. Okay, so now that's done, if we type in DF, we should see our new hard drives. No, okay, we can't see it yet because they're not mounted. So we've raided them, we've formatted them, and now we need to mount them. So what you wanna do is paste this command in, which is mount slash dev slash MD0, and then the name of your mount location. Now, first you need to actually create the directory. So we're gonna type in mkd space slash mnt slash, and then if you see here on our naming conventions, we've got 16x04, 16x03, 16x01. So I'm gonna call this two, and it's a fire cuda, so I'm gonna do FC, and I'm gonna call it a RAID zero. And I'm gonna make another one for our RAID one as well, which is gonna be mkda slash mnt slash two FC RAID one. So that means we've now named them a little bit better, so they're easier to identify. Um, and then go back to our first command again, which is the mount one. So we're gonna type in mount, slash dev slash mt0 and then we're going to put it to the first directory that we made which is mnt slash 2fc raid 0 and we're going to do the same for md1 as well okay now if we type in df there we go we've got both of our raid drives at the bottom there um, so the last last and final thing we need to do, and this is the most important thing, because if you restart your machine like I did earlier, you're gonna lose all of your RAID configuration. You can see here that we need to type in this command. So what this will do is um, it will just add them to the file so that on startup, it will essentially just run back from where it came because you, you need to do the, the software RAID every time. So if we copy this command here, go back to our terminal, and paste that in. And now if we now want to check that that's uh, done what it's meant to, we can type in cat and the name of the file. And then you can see here that we've got our two raids. Now when we restart our machine, that will still persist. So that's pretty much it. And if you wanna confirm that they're actually there, we can go to our disk management again. Yeah, yeah, so if you come here, you can see that at the bottom we have our raid arrays and you can see that they're mounted at um, FC raid zero and FC raid one. Uh, so they're now all working and we should be able to now CD into those uh, FC, oh, FC RAID, sorry, 2 FC RAID 0 and then we should be able to list those out and then we can make a directory in here called Chia and then we can go back to our other one which is 2 FC RAID 1 and we can make our Chia folder in there as well. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how to raid your hard drives in RAID 0 um, to um, help you with your chia farming to increase your read and write outputs. Uh, I hope it was helpful and um, I hope that you get some more plots out of this by doing this. Now, um, it is also worth pointing out as well that um, a lot of people at the minute are doing two terabytes on two terabytes, so they're doing a four terabyte drive. Um, the only problem that I think with that is is the 
uh, the two terabyte drives are quite expensive. The one terabytes are in much uh, lower demand, I think. And also, once you reach a certain size, uh, you've got to think, so if you've got two gigabytes of space, you only really want to be doing phase one uh, on one on one of those one terabytes. So you can probably do phase ones on two of the RAID drives. You don't really want to be doing any more than that because it's just going to completely destroy your hard drive. Uh, and also, you'll get diminishing returns on the speed in and out of your hard drive as well. So um, it, I... Although like, some people can easily debate me on this, so I don't mind, but I think that it's actually better to do two times one terabytes rather than um, two times two terabytes. But that's just my that's just my opinion. Again, I'm not I'm not an expert at this. I'm learning as I go. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'd like to thank you for all of the support that I've been getting. I've got a lot of subscribers in the last few days. I think Chia is uh, really hitting the algorithm at the minute, uh, I've got to say, and I do actually like doing this stuff. I've always wanted to do this kind of stuff. Uh, I've been making videos like this for a couple of years now, and it's finally paying some dividends. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Emphatic beat attic in the stab hit I envelope the game, call me rabbit. rabbit Hop to hop, I run the internet equivocally Bitch, I be hit him with the bite style Symmetry, yeah. digi-g do gangsta rep until I'm dead Steady grip Apache logs When I'm looking for the feds Fast forward, now the internet Anonymous and captains of the low